hello my dear students welcome back to the video recording class so today i'm going to teach you uh, in a very very different way because as you all see here i'm you i'm going to use uh, interactive digital board okay yes this is known as the smart board so i'm going to teach you with the help of the smart board and as you all know that i was doing chapter 5 that is um, presentation software powerpoint uh, since you have already done PowerPoint in class 5, uh, so today I am going to teach you some of the uh, different features, okay? So, uh, visual effect in PowerPoint, okay? I will not start from the beginning, but today I am going to teach you um, the different views in PowerPoint, okay? So, so presentation visual effect. So PowerPoint, actually PowerPoint is a very, very uh, effective way of providing information in a visual manner, okay? And it is a easy to use uh, presentation graphic software, which allows you, uh, it's a very, very powerful, easy to use presentation graphic software programs, which allows you to create professional looking electronic slideshow. Yes, I told you, it helps us to create a very very professional looking uh, electronic slideshow and powerpoint is used to present information in a very very organized manner so if i make a presentation and if i show a slideshow uh, using powerpoint then it helps you to understand because in a powerpoint i can show the information in a visual manner okay so today, as I told you, I'm going to start with views because you have already done PowerPoint in class five. I'm going to start with the views. So view, uh, first, let me start. There are actually five views, okay? There are five views. Let me start with normal view. So it is the default view and has three walking areas. So I'm going to show you how normal view looks like, okay? Side pane, slideshow and note pane. These are the three walking areas in a normal view. Now have a look at this. This is the normal view. In normal view, it is the default view and has got three walking areas. So whenever you start PowerPoint, the first view you see is the normal view. So let me show you. So see, children, this is your normal view, okay? So normal view is the default view. So whenever you open Microsoft PowerPoint, the first slide you see is the normal view. So here in normal view, this is the typing text area. This here you can write the notes here and this is the uh, normal view where you can see all the different types of slides okay this is normal view now now let's move on to uh, another view that is the slide shorter view so the slide shorter view this is exclusive view of all the slides in a thumbnail form so why do we need slide shorter view so if we need slide shorter view to see uh, suppose you have created 10 slides and you wanted to see all those 10 slides in one particular page so in that case you can use slide shorter view slide shorter view helps you to see all the slides in one page and at the same time you can rearrange those slides uh, or you can delete or you can add more slides using slide shorter view so it shows the thumbnail formats you see the miniature form okay the picture of all the different slides in one slide so this is the slide shorter view I'll show you this is your slide shot of view. So see, I have created four slides, one, two, three, four, okay? So this is known as 
slide shorter. Okay, so this is your slide shot view. So I, as I told you, you see the miniature of all the slides. Okay, these are the thumbnail forms of all the slides. This, this is slide shorter view. This helps you to rearrange your slides. So here today I'm just demonstrating you. I'm just giving you an information about this uh, views. So in my next class, I'm going to uh, show you or I'm going to practically show you how does this slide shorter view works. You can edit, you can delete, you can rearrange the slides. Okay, so this is slide shorter view next view is the outline view so outline view text can be seen in an outline pane and the activity slide in the center so when you click on the outline view what happens your text can be seen at the same time you see the activity slide in the center so I'm going to show you how does the outline view looks so this is the outline view so as you can all see I have created some slides so these are the slides okay and this is your outline view so you can see the slide at the right side also at the same time in an outline view you can see all the slides that I have created in left pane okay so this is how the outline view looks like so next I'm going to teach you is the master view this master view is it's very very important because it allows you to quickly move move or modify the slide and its layout in your presentations so once you have created your presentation if you want to quickly modify if you want to make some changes like if you want to change date or name or sometimes some words okay then you can go to slide master view and you can quickly modify the slides the change made in the slide master view is quickly seen in the slideshow view or in your presentation okay because it is reflected in your every slide suppose I have created a slide I have finished I'm going to present you like somehow if I want to add the date or the page number or the slide number then I can go to slide master view to modify it okay so this is how the slide master view looks like so this is slide master view okay so here these are the slides and this is the activity where you can modify your slides okay you can modify your text here you can modify it as soon as you modify text here your uh, uh, your slide will be reflected in your presentations okay the next is the final view which is very very important and this helps us to present the presentations to the audience. So that view is known as the slide show view. Okay, slide show view used to deliver your presentation to the audience. So finally, when you have to deliver your presentation, when you have to show your presentation in a full screen, then you use the slideshow view. Okay, let me show you how does the slideshow view looks like. So this is your slideshow view. So this is your complete slideshow view. It will come in one page and it helps you to give information in a very very effective way to the audience so that the audience can easily understand what you are going to present so this is the slide show view after we finish with the views the most important thing that we are going to learn in powerpoint that is visual effect is the animation which is without which your powerpoint cannot you cannot make your powerpoint attractive okay so animations animation means it is the movements of any of the elements like text image or shapes on the slide yes animation means you can give movement to to the text to the image to the shapes also of different slides okay to enhance the visual appeal by applying custom animation effects to individual objects like 
as I told you, it can be a picture, it can be a bullet point, it can be a title, or it can be a graphics. Okay. So today I'll not, I'm not going to discuss about the animation because I'm just going to focus on the views. So before I finish, let me show you a short video of how the computer PowerPoint presentation views. I'm, not, I'm just going to show you a video. Uh, white bond. Okay, so here I'm just going to show you the views in PowerPoint. So how to use different views in PowerPoint 2007. So this is the normal view, normal mode, as I told you. Then you can switch to different views, grid line. Now comes, I told you, short, slight shorter mode. So this is the thumbnail of all the slide, as I told you. Now comes the slide show view, view as slide show. The final view, okay, your presentation comes in a full screen. Okay children, this much for today. In my next class, I'm going to practically demonstrate you how to add different animation in PowerPoint. Thank you class.